This exercise could help improve memory in people with pre-existing cognitive decline. That's according to research just published this year. I'm Dr. Austin Promoter. If you care about your brain, make sure you're following this channel. This is a study that was looking at how resistance training could potentially help to improve memory in people who already had cognitive decline. And for context, once a person develops cognitive decline, there's not a lot that modern medicine has to offer that can significantly slow the rate of descent or reverse that cognitive decline. But exercise may prove to be one of the most important tools in our toolkit. This study was a smaller study in 44 people. Half of those people continued on without adding any new exercises, and the other half were randomized into resistance training. This was a 24-week study period. For the people who were doing resistance training, they did it two days a week. They did three sets, 10 reps of 10 different exercises. And what they found at the end of this study is that the people who were in the resistance training group had better scores on a test of verbal memory. They also found changes in MRIs of people's brains. Generally speaking, what they found is that the resistance training group seemed to have some improvements in terms of the hippocampus, the memory center of the brain, although the results were a little bit more complicated than simply saying that they had more hippocampal matter than the people who didn't exercise. The bottom line to this study, however, is that people even with existing cognitive decline may benefit from exercise and in particular resistance training. Resistance training has been seen as inferior to aerobic conditioning for many years, but research such as this study is indicating we need to rethink that paradigm. I'm Dr. Austin Perlmutter. For more on this type of content, make sure you're following my channel. I'll talk to you again soon.